Hi there kids. Today's topic is about consonant digraph th words, voiced and unvoiced th words. Let's get started. The digraph th makes two different sounds. One is voiced and other one is unvoiced. But how do I know if the th is voiced or voiceless? So there are some set of rules to follow and lot more exceptional words as well. So let's start the session. The first thing we'll learn is how to pronounce voiced and voiceless th. The tongue position is same for both the sounds. You must place the tip of your tongue gently touching the back of your top teeth. For unvoiced th, it is like you're pushing the air out. As in, thank you, think. It's like the th is not audible, it's voiceless. And for the voiced th, you had to make the sound by the vocal cord. For example, them, they. Now the question is, how do I know when to pronounce voiced and voiceless th? So first, we will learn the rules for unvoiced th. Now rules for unvoiced th. The voiceless th is used in the beginning of a content word. The word that has a meaning or give meaning to the sentence. For example, noun, verb, adjective and adverbs. Like, thank. Think. Thick, thumb, thought, thaw, thorn, thirsty, thunder, Now rules for the medial voiceless th words. If the th comes before a consonant, then the th is voiceless, that is unvoiced. For example, birthday. Here the th is voiceless as it comes before a consonant d. Truthful. Bathtub Toothache Athlete Now rules for final voiceless th words. If the th is at the very end of a word, then it is always voiceless except the word with. Here th being at the end of a word with is pronounced with the voice th with not with for example math moth tooth month Earth. Now the rules for voiced th, the initial voiced th words. It is used in the beginning of function words, words that don't mean any specific thing or action. For example, this, that. There, those, them, now the rules for medial voiced th words. It comes between two vowels, for example, 
father together the th is between two vowels for example in father it comes in between a and e we'll see with some examples this also applies when there is a th plus er sound words or er plus th sound words for example worthy here the th is voiced because of the er sound before that er plus th early worthy for example in the word father the th is between the two vowels a and e so the th is voiced here like father mother weather other gather now the second rule for the medial voice th words are it is voiced when there is a verb plus e and also when th comes with ing words for example for example babe Bath is a verb. When it comes along with E, it's bathe with the voiced TH. Breathe. Load. Clothing. TH plus ING words make the TH sound voiced. Clothing. Soothing. Now the rules for final voiced th words. The th at the end of a word is always voiceless except with. Now the exceptions. The most commonly used exceptional words are rhythm. In the word rhythm, the th comes before a consonant m and when it comes before a consonant it's supposed to be voiceless but it is voiced here so it's an exceptional rhythm author here the th comes in between two vowels and it is supposed to be voiced th but it is voiceless here author everything th plus ing gives a voiced th sound but it is voiceless here everything something southeast ethical method mathematics Authenticity Hypothesis Practicition Try to read the sentences Feel the rhythm and follow the beat Feel the rhythm and follow the beat Southern food is the best. Southern food is the best. There is nothing much to tell. There is nothing much to tell. Who is the author of this book? Who is the author of this book? She was thankful that they were not alone. She was thankful that they were not alone. Rules explained once again for voiceless th. Voiceless th at the beginning of a content word and before a consonant and th is always voiceless at the end of a word except the word with. Now rules for 
voice th at the beginning of a function words between two vowels whenever there is th plus r sound and r plus th sound and word plus e and th plus ing words and th is always voiceless at the end of a word bye bye kids see you later Please like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the new video alerts. Link to all my phonics videos given below in the description box. Keep watching.